Hello everybody and welcome back to another horse crazy video with me. Who am I? Honey Heart C. I am going to be painting the new Unicorn Sun Catcher paint kit that Briar just released. Brand new for 2020. I'm really excited about this set because we've got a lot of newer Stablemate molds in here including a brand new Stablemate full. Yes, I love painting these little sun catchers. Look at that. The horses almost completely disappear. Here they are. You get five water crystal clear stable mates to paint with some unique sun catcher paint. I love these so much. These are so much fun to do. So the kit comes with everything you need. Whoop. We've got paint in a rainbow of colors and a paintbrush. Oh, and look at that. It even has like a little user's guide in here. And just in case you need help getting started, but truly the only thing you need is your own imagination. These transparent unicorns can be anything you want them to be. And I already have some ideas of what I want to do with them. And I'm really happy to try out some of these new colors because this green is brand new. I've never painted with a green that green before. This orange looks super pretty and this gorgeous like pink magenta color. So you can create rainbow horses Horses, you can create horses like that are two-toned, three-toned, multiple colored, solid color, light color, dark color. Like here is one of the stable mates that I have painted before. So you can see I did a two-tone color with this one. And then I painted this adorable little foal. Now you can see the color difference if you wanna go really light. These two purples are the exact same color purple. If I remember right, you can build it up and intensify the colors to make it more rich like this. Or you can keep it nice, subtle, and light and almost kind of like a pastel, just like this one. Honestly, it's completely up to you. That's the best thing about craft projects. You are in control and you get to decide exactly what you want these horses to look like. So the first thing I want to do is I want to try out all of these colors. Like I just want to go for it. And the one I want to go for it with is this little itty bitty baby fold. This is a brand new stable mate mold that was released this year. So we're just gonna go for it with the color. All right, so I got all my paint pots open and I'm gonna start out with pink on the top. And I want this full to be completely rainbow colored. Oh, this color is so pretty. And these paints are usually nice and thick and it's kind of like working with like watered down honey. So it shouldn't drip all over too much unless you add water to your brush, but you really don't need to. You can just go in just like what I'm doing, adding no water at all and just start painting this beautiful little full. Now I'm gonna go in with orange. This looks like a bright orange juice color. Just so that line isn't so intense Tense, I'm gonna mix the orange with a little bit of this pink. So orange and pink together. This is so much fun. This is so relaxing. Get a little bit down its back. Seriously, if you need like a really relaxing craft to do, try to see if you can find this set online. I feel like I'm painting with glass. There we go. Now I'm gonna let this kind of dry before I go in with my green. In the meantime, which other horses do I want to paint? Mm, decisions, decisions. All right, well, I wanna go in with this beautiful green color here. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful one here. And I think I'm gonna go in with some more warmer colors. I'm gonna go back in with this orange. And I think I'm gonna do a two-tone color horse. I think the majority of his body is going to be this orangey yellow color. And then I'm gonna paint his mane and tail, either a pink or a green, depending on what it looks like. Oh gosh, I just, I love this so much. This is like a must try for everybody. This is like one of my favorite things. And if I keep that paint nice and light, it will stay like this really soft color. Let's paint his little face. Ooh, maybe I'll just keep his mane clear. That, that looks really cool. This is just so orange juicy to me. All right, now the color is gonna darken up just a little bit whenever I turn him around and I paint the other side of him. And look at how smooth that paint is. Like you don't see any streak marks, nothing like that. Just completely smooth and beautiful. And I'm not using any water. You can go in and use some water, but this time I'm not using any water on these. And I think this is just looking really good. Oh, I'm so happy. Wow, wow, I'm so impressed. Even if you can't paint very well, this is perfect for you. It's just, I wanna make sure I catch any like little drip areas. Like there's kind of a little bit of a paint buildup right here. I just wanna keep that paint moving and nice and smooth. And that's how you get it to look streak 
free. Just don't let that paint build up too much in any of the horses, you know, in the horse mold cracks or anything. Just keep it moving. There you go. Looks like honey. All right, I really want to use this green. So who is going to get the green? I think I'm going to put the green on this one. Oh, oh no, look at my full. Looks like that paint is starting to drip down its leg. So I'm just going to take my paper towel and just wipe it. Don't want that. And see how that color is just kind of bunching up just a little bit right here. So I'm just going to kind of push that paint back up there. I'm keeping an eye on you. Let's go back to this one. It's gonna get some green. Loving this green. Okay, this is such a beautiful, bright, like lime green and just paint. Oh, oh, it goes on really like a lime. So I'm probably gonna build up this coat once it dries, just giving it a chance to dry and then going in and just building up this color. Yes, she looks like a gummy snack. Okay, so I'm gonna let that green now dry. So I've used a lot of green, I used a lot of the orange. Now let's go into some of the cooler colors. So let's take this one. And for him, I think I'm gonna do, ooh, I still wanna use this beautiful like tealish kind of green. I can't resist it. I have to use this teal color. I have to try this out. All right, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, it's actually, that's very transparent. This one's probably the most transparent paint so far out of all of them. Let's just try to build it up just a little little bit, but the paint is really being moved around in a very transparent way. All right, let's turn them around. See if we can kind of see the color now shining through. Yeah, it's really, really soft and light. It's like a pastel teal. Oh, actually, you know what? It's really pretty. Oh man, maybe I don't want to build up any of these paints because they're just so pretty. Just as they are, I love them like really soft, light colors. Like it just looks like a little tiny hint of teal. So let's see what she looks like with a rainbow mane and tail. So I'm going to go in with my pink, a little pink on her tail here. Start getting my purple going right at the bottom. All right, so I let everything dry for about 20 minutes or so. So now I'm gonna go in with my second coat of paint, starting with this little full. Now I'm gonna add in the green layer. So just kind of touch it on. And this green is so pretty. This little spring green, lime green. Seriously, this full looks like a gummy bear. Those colors just blended beautifully. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. And since I've got my green open, I'm gonna go back to this girl. And we're just gonna go in and add a second coat of paint in. Just darken it up just a little bit. Color just intensified just a little bit, but it's still that gorgeous lime green color. All right, let's go in to the teal one. Oh, he's a little bit sticky still. So that paint isn't completely dried, but just see if we can kind of layer it and darken it up. Yeah, this one's always kind of gonna be like a light color, which is perfectly fine with me. This color is so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's see if we can intensify this orange. Now it's kind of going from like orange juice to kind of like a macaroni color. Looks a little bit more like macaroni, just how light this is, but let's kind of darken it. Ooh, yum, that color. Now for my rainbow main girl, go in with my blue. Add some blue on top of that purple. some of the orange. Look at how amazing that's starting to look. Wow. All right, now I'm just gonna let them all dry. Now I'm going in with the teal color. And we'll do another layer of teal on this guy. And then after this layer, then I'll start coloring in his mane. All right, his body coat is done now to let them dry. This little lime one, I think just looks so perfect. Yeah, he's looking so beautiful. I'm just obsessed with this color. So I like don't wanna add any more on. I think I'm pretty much gonna just call this one done. He's so pretty. He's just so pretty the way he is. Let's just go in maybe with a little bit on his hooves, just to add a little tiny touch of color. I really don't even want that much color because I really love the clear and the transparent, how it just goes from lime to transparent. Yeah, look at that now. Look at his hooves. Oh, he looks so cute. He's cute. He's so precious. Should I add just a tiny touch to his tail? Maybe a little bit of lime to his tail tip. Just a little bit. There we go. That's one horse done. All right, we need to finish completing the rainbow with this one. 
Now we've got the orange juice. Oh, who's still a little bit wet. Oh no. See how it kind of clumped right here? I'm just gonna brush that away. Got a little bit of a clumpy area right there. All right, so I'm still gonna let this one dry just a little bit longer. All right, time to add in my dark blue. Wow, that made this foal's legs really intense. And now with the rainbow mane, I just need to add in the teal color. It's so just light. All right, now with the full teal one, let's go in with this lime green. Just add some lime here at the bottom of his legs and just kind of blend it in nice and limey. Ooh, that looks pretty. And look at it actually kind of creates like a true green whenever you like mix the two together. Ooh. How pretty. Then I'm also gonna add the lime to the tail. I think I'm the most obsessed with this lime color. I think this one is the winner for me as just my absolute favorite. It's so nice that Briar added that color in. Painting his mane. And then maybe a little touch with his muzzle here. Just a little bit there. <gasps> look at how beautifully those colors blended in. I mean, look at that. That lime green has now really taken over and created like a beautiful, like rich grassy green color that it kind of almost takes up the teal. All right, let's see what we can do with this orangey one. I'm gonna go in with the pink and I think I'm kind of gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna create a pink mane. Yeah, it almost looks like it kind of wants to turn like red almost. It's got a little bit of some mane on this side and his forelock and his glass tail is now going to be this pink color and a little bit on the hooves. I think we're still gonna soften that up. I'm gonna add in a little bit more orange to kind of maybe give it a little bit more of a red hue. So I'm gonna let him dry. So the foal is missing purple. So now we gotta add in the very last color of this rainbow foal. It's so colorful. Colorful. And then I can go back and add in a second coat on any areas that look like kind of washed out just a little bit. Like I'd really like to be able to see that yellow just just a little bit more. And here is this rainbow mane mare. She looks really cool, but I'm still going, am I gonna give her some color? Oh, she's so cool the way she is, ah! Oh, I'm telling you, it's so hard to pick exactly how you want these to look. She would look amazing in every single one of the colors. Oh, maybe I should just buy another set. Should I leave her clear? I think I'm gonna leave her painted clear because of how cool she looks, but I'll paint each one of her hooves a different color. So we'll do purple, I'm telling you. I'm obsessed with these. Pink, orange, and green. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at her rainbow feet. Should I paint her horn? Oh, I think I should also paint her horn maybe like rainbow too. But maybe I'll just keep them the same colors as her hooves. So purple, and I might as well go back in and touch up some of her main color too that kind of washed out a little bit. This purple could be a little bit brighter, so nothing that a second coat couldn't fix. Now I'm gonna go in with pink on her horn. Now I'm gonna let that dry before adding in the two other colors. <gasps> oh no! They've Oh, they kind of stuck to the paper a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go back in and do a second coat of paint. It looks like this pink kind of didn't really stick. I want it to really show up. So I'm just gonna keep going over and over and over his mane until I get this pink. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna add some more of that orange right back into the tail just to kind of make it look a little bit more ready and kind of tone down the pink. And I'm gonna add in that orange to the horn and a tiny little amount of the lime green. There we go, they are all painted now. And yep, I'm absolutely in love with these. These are so fun to do. It's honestly, if you guys can get your hands on these, you know, you can buy them online. You should totally check it out because they're really fun to paint. So here is my gorgeous, just lemon lime. Oh, I just love that color. Seriously, that is a brand new color with that really light, soft spring green. And then we've got my orange pop, this little cute guy right here with his kind of fiery mane. So mixing that orange and that pink together kind of created a little bit more of like kind of a red tinge to him. So he's really beautiful. And also that orange color too is really nice. And then of course I have the most colorful one out of all is this brand new foal that they released, this brand new mold. So, so cute. I love it. I cannot wait to see this foal in other colors. 
And then the foal's mama right here, I guess she's just kind of a clear colored unicorn. I kept her really simple. Love the little transparent body, but her mane and her hooves and her unicorn horn is still super colorful, adding just that nice color pop to them. And then I can't forget about this beauty right here too, with that kind of like teal color, which actually turned out to be a lot more green, like a darker green. And then with that spring lime green with him too, I think it works really perfectly and very nice. Ooh, look at how it looks whenever you mix the two colors. You get like that true green color. Ooh, I love that. Ooh. So I kept them kind of simple, but that's just how I like these. I might try to pick up another set of these and maybe paint them in even more colors. I had so much fun painting them. These can be enjoyed by any age. Adults love them, everybody loves them. So now I'm just gonna put them out in the sun so we can really see them sparkle since they are sun catchers stable mates. So here they actually are out in the sunlight. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, the sun just brings out like their natural color. Super in love with these. They're so gorgeous. I'm so happy to add these to my collection. I just love how they glisten in the sun. True, beautiful, colorful sun catchers. Ah, dog. Oh, you guys, I also forgot I got a Briar package in the mail. I ordered two things off of their official website, so you don't wanna miss the video with this. Which horses could it be? Hmm, you're just gonna have to watch the video and see, so make sure you press the subscribe button. Bye, you guys.